What's up, Internet? Oh, what's this? Something's happening. He has something for us. Well, this is interesting. Aw, we got a love letter. Aw. It's not a love letter. We're not loved. It's a goldenrod. Oh, but I have allergies. Actually, I don't. But we did, in fact, catch every single kind of fish. And because of this, we now have a golden fishing rod. Which means he's either high, ascended to a higher plane of existence and become some sort of fish god creature made of pure energy, or, you know, he's dead. One of those two things. But, uh, yeah, the golden rod allows you to basically catch fish easier. It gives you a longer period of time to actually catch the fish once they bite, as well as it having a bigger hit detection to be noticed by fish, as well as just uh, makes fishing easier in pretty much all regards. Which is pretty cool. Yeah! We got the golden rod. We got some fishing to do. Although, we caught all the fish, so there's not really too much of a point to having it, honestly. But, you know, what can you do? Sure is shiny, though. Yeah, we don't need this old clunker. Let's get rid of some mail. But uh, we're basically just going to have another episode trying to work on our collections because there's still some bugs we need to work out. Three, to be specific. And, uh, well, we're going to try and do some of that today. I'm not sure how successful we'll be because, again, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how certain it is that we can actually get them, but we're going to make a concerted effort to make it happen. Letter from home. Letter from Tom Nook. Letter from the HRA. Don't care. But we got the golden rod, and that's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go to the town next door and see if we can find ourselves some bugs. At least for a little bit, because we got some bug catching to do. Yes, it's very exciting that we got ourselves the golden fishing rod of greatness. Unfortunately, you know, like I say, since it requires you to have all the fish anyway to get it, it kind of defeats the purpose of having it. I mean, I could see having to do some long quest to get it to allow you to have a better shot at catching, like, the super ridiculously rare fish, like the coelacanth or something. It helped if it made, you know, rare fish more likely to appear as well, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that either. But it's a cool prize, and it's definitely a sign that we are getting closer to, you know, completion. That said, it's basically September at this point, and it's not even the end of the year yet. We still have, like, a quarter of the year left, and that's just a sign that there's no new fish to find, which I think is kind of lacking a little bit. Same with bugs, but I mean, at least bugs. You're not too likely to see bugs in the snow. Okay, I can accept that. But, you know, it can't be helped. What we do after this, I'm not too sure. I mean, I guess we can amass wealth to try and get more prizes from the bank, but... Other than that, and modifying our home to be more suitable to us, there, there's not really much I can think of for overarching goals for us. But, you know, we gotta enjoy our small victories where we can. And now that we have the golden rod, well, we can go fish for just good old-fashioned fun, and also profits. Although, if you want profits, beetles are the way to go right now. And also, that's not why we're doing this. I don't recall the regular rod being so wobbly when you walk. Okay, so anyway, we are back looking for insects, and of course, there's three we still need. And at present in this town, we can get two, at least in theory, and there's one of them. 
Got it. Sweet. We now have all the dragonflies. And the red dragonfly is similarly to the firefly, one of the few insects that actually is programmed slightly differently. Like you can have multiple ones on screen at a time. They show up in swarms of up to five. Similarly to fireflies, but pretty much every other bug and fish can only have one instance, regardless of what it is, on screen at a time, and I'm pretty sure that's just because of N64 limitations. But now, let's open this up. We're missing two. And at present, we can only catch one right now. There's a spot to dig up, but that's that's not really our focus. We don't need this guy, but we can sell him. I think it's a couple bells. So right now we're just looking for the last locust we need. And I noticed that we didn't see any red dragonflies yesterday, but we saw a crap ton of them, well, within the first couple steps. And I'm not sure if that's a sign that, you know, we're sort of halfway into starting a new month and a new cycle of insects, or what, but... You know, if this is a sign we can get that last locust and that last cricket, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Just gotta keep our eyes out for them, I guess. It could entirely be just a luck thing, like they were available yesterday too and we just didn't see them. That's a large brown cicada. I kinda wanna get the other cicadas for our zen garden. Which, I, I think we can only have like one more day of trying to catch cicadas. At this point, I think we need a walker cicada, and let me just take a look at the cicadas. I think we have an evening cicada as well, so we'd need a walker cicada and a robust cicada, I think. But that's on the off chance we actually want to collect all of them. I'm not sure we do, but you know, it's nice to have the option if it's still available to us. Since our pockets are full, we're going to go to Nook's sell what we have, minus, of course, the one fish, or one fish, the one bug. So we can sell all this, but not that red dragonfly, that's the key to this whole operation so far. We have a few more fossils, I'll have to remember to sell them later, but... Right now we gotta find one locust, and the problem is this locust is hard to catch and it's actually pretty rare. Apparently the cricket we still need is like the lowest chance spawning of all the crickets as well, so it's worth noting. But, you know, at least we're kind of definitely working our way towards completion. Well, at least as complete as we theoretically could get it. Because, of course, you can't 100% your catalog short of playing through the game like 15 times and getting wildly lucky with 15 different towns, which I don't want to do, ever. I can't think of anyone who would. That cicada was on the ground. That was weird. They don't normally spawn there. They spawn in trees. So, we got to find ourselves a locust. Not one of those dumb long head locusts. We need one of those awesome migratory locusts. That's a big fish, but I don't think it's a super big fish. And because it's not a super fish, I don't think it would do us too much good to catch it. I don't know what that was, or even if that'll show up on recording, but there's like this random black bar that just spawned for a second horizontally across the screen for some reason. I don't know what that is. I know sometimes when recording I get like this weird, like, distorted, uh, box around some of the screen, but I've never seen something like that. That was weird. Usually doesn't show up on the recording as far as I can tell though, so. Adventures in trying to figure out how to record video game footage. I've only been doing this for five years now. Actually, I'm trying to get a a uh, splitter box that'll allow for HD CP pass through because I can't record PS3 stuff cleanly right now which sucks and the only way I know how to do it at this point with what I have is um, this 
thing that basically fits into the AV slot and kind of does upscaling to HDMI. And I've recorded a few videos with it. It doesn't look horrible, but it definitely doesn't look good. It was uh, mainly designed for PS2 upscaling. So it works with PS3s, but it just it doesn't look quite right. Also, you can't do PS1 stuff on the PS2 when you do it. For some reason, it doesn't pick up at all, which is interesting. I guess that means it uh, displays with a different signal or something that the thing does not detect. I can assume. Although I don't honestly know all that much about AV stuff. That's why I typically have to ask someone else. Which is also why I don't know why I can't properly record Genesis footage at this point. Because for whatever reason Genesis footage just bugs out my HD recorder. And it's... I, I think it has to do with interlacing. But it's not specifically Genesis, like I've got one or two Famicom games that have a similar issue. That's a grasshopper. But, you know, I, I have the problem pretty consistently with Genesis stuff, which is why I haven't reviewed anything Genesis-wise in a long time. There's no way to record it, at least in a way that would actually make it look good. And I'm all about trying to do quality stuff as best I can with what little budget I have to work with. Oh, there's more dragonflies, a lot more dragonflies. Oop, there's another dragonfly. Oh, it gets to fly through acres completely unhindered. I have to wait for a transition. It's not fair, banded dragonfly, you cheat. Alright, so we're looking for one bug at this point. If we can get it, that means that we can then move on to our town to try and get the last insect there. Wendell. Thirty-first. Two days from now. Ah, that's a cockroach. I was thinking, what was that on that tree? Didn't look like it was time for a beetle to show up. Oh, just a cockroach. I think that was a banded dragonfly. Not that we have any use for them. Also, say goodbye to them, because I'm pretty sure they disappear in two days. Kinda sad. She jumped off the cliff. That's really, really unsafe for your child. I would assume. But she's a kangaroo, what do I know? red dragonflies. There's a lot of red dragonflies, but we don't need red dragonflies. Not anymore. This is kind of what my main goal is right now, just wandering around looking for bugs. I don't really have any other goal or plan right now. Just gotta find the bugs I'm missing. All two of them. I mean, we managed to do it for the fish. Are they going to be happy or angry? They are ambivalent to one another. No, 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 no. Aw. Oh, okay, I should have been able to catch that one. Again, I don't need a banded dragonfly. I've got tons of them in my house alone, but... You know. Still got to try and catch them. Because it's a skill test. There's a darner dragonfly. That was a banded dragonfly I let get away. That was stupid of me. Wow, they hate each other. Where do you go, Spike and Ace? You hate each other now, and it's all your own fault. Alright, so where, oh where, can we find these insects? Got about 15 minutes left on the clock before I think they stop spawning, and we'll have to go back to my town. If we don't run into one between now and then, I think that it's just not realistic to say that we're going to finish this collection tonight. And while it certainly doesn't bother me, it gives us more time to work on this, it would be kind of nice. It's something we've worked on for months. 
And the end is definitely in sight. We worked hard, and we're about to get rewarded for it. A rather redundant prize, but still. I hear Grasshopper. Yep, Grasshopper. Don't clap for that, Peaches. It wasn't earned. They have tons of Grasshoppers. I stay awakened too. How are you doing tonight? Seriously, where is this bug gonna be? I know it's probably like the least spawning of all of them, but I need it so much. Uh. There's a little tiny fish. Don't need that though. I hear grasshoppers. That's not what we're looking for. Hmm. Dragonfly, dragonfly. Ah. Yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> it's going. Eh, yeah, red dragonflies. Already got the one I need, though. Was, Pe was Peaches. Oh, Goldie was wearing a new clothes. Cool. It's nice to see them spreading their awesome style and fashion sense. She, too, is wearing the exact same style. <laughs> Cube's fashion sense is infecting them all. And yet, they're not wearing GameCube shirts. It's a missed opportunity. Come on, you smelly butterfly. Get back here. There we go. Alright, well that's a couple bells right there. But it's still not what we're looking for. We only have about 11 minutes left to find it. We'll wait until tomorrow. Dragonflies. Uh, we're so close and I'm so impatient. I want to find them now. I'm not even sure if they're guaranteed to spawn at this time or not. Insect spawning seems a little weird right now. But damn it, I'm close and I'm impatient. gonna find these locusts and also cricket. I mean the cricket we're gonna find in the other town, that's fine, but assuming it even spawns and it's apparently got a ridiculously low spawn rate, which is less than ideal. Oh. Tangy! Yes, I caught all the fish. I might have caught all the bugs too if this is the one I need. Ah, oh, it's not. Oh, are they all going to congratulate me if I just talk to them? That's kind of cool. Maybe I should actually do that. Uh, nope, maybe it was just Tangy. Uh, I play a little bit of New Leaf. I haven't touched it in a while, though. It's been a while. I don't play my 3DS all that much, honestly. It's mostly because I'm just frustrated it's a region-locked system and most of the games I want for it are in Japanese. And also the game I bought it for never actually came out. That kind of sucked too. Hey, they don't hate each other anymore. Yay for making up! Alright, I hear a cicada, but that doesn't do us any good. glowy spot, but I'm not interested in that right now. So we have nine minutes to catch this thing if it shows up at all. On skaters. Nothing here. Nope. Longhorn beetle. Drone beetle. Stupid beetles. Lots of dragonflies. I approve. I haven't seen too many dragonflies this year, honestly. I got this nice, really pretty picture of one landing on a pine tree, though. Had, like, um, black and white stripes and bright blue eyes. Very pretty dragonfly. 
I like dragonflies. I think they're some of the coolest bugs. Ooh, one of those butterflies. They're not worth all that much, though. And we don't need them to finish our collection. We've got eight minutes. Are you the one I need? No. Stop being long-headed locust. I need the other one. Huh. I think I like the other shirt Ketzel had, but that one doesn't look too bad on him. But right now, I need to find one specific bug. I don't have a lot of time left to find it. Unless we, you know, play again tomorrow, which of course we will, but... Still, my lack of patience demands I do it now. More dragonflies for us, but not what we're looking for. Ooh. Oh, it's gone. Hey, I think that might be something that's not a fossil. I'll take this one up out of general curiosity. Oh, fossil. And here I thought that was that, uh, knight thing someone buried a while back. I need to get rid of my old... old, old rod, because I don't need it anymore. Alright, we got about seven minutes left to catch this thing. There's a cockroach. That's not what we need. I could get cockroaches at any point in the year. Red dragonflies, guaranteed it's not to be in this acre. Longhorn beetle. Where, oh where, is our new bug friend? Will it even spawn for us? I don't know, but I really hope it does. Mostly because I want to work on the collection. And we're so close to completing it. I thought I saw someone walking around down here, but I guess not. Hmm. Any interesting insects in this acre? Nope. Unfortunate, but still. I hear a grasshopper. That doesn't do much for us. Still got six minutes. Uh, dragonflies. That could be what we need. We have sunk nine months to finding these last few bugs. We must complete this task. Uh oh, let's keep wearing now. Oh, that shirt I designed way back when. Weird. He spread his style to everyone else and then just decided to completely drop it because it was just getting too popular. That sounds like a thing Cube would do. Oh, there's a bunch of dragonflies. That means what we're looking for won't be here. We've run into a lot of banded dragonflies today. I haven't caught any of them, but... I guess I don't need to catch any of them. Aside from bells, they're not doing me any favors. Right now, we still have two more insects to find. We're running out of time for one of them. But like I said, the spawning for insects seems kind of weird right now, because we're... I think the game just kind of considers us in like a transitional state between seasons. And because of that, the insects are kind of half spawning, half not. So, you, it could just be that, um, you know, you can see some of the bugs that we're trying to find, but not all of them. I would think is kind of what's going on at the moment. But that's just conjecture on my part. Let's go up here. Maybe we'll find it up here. But probably not. Oop, that might be it. Judging by the way it hopped away, I'm doubting it though. Yeah, it's a long headed locust. The migratory one tends to jump a lot further and a lot faster when you startle it. It makes them really hard to catch. 
at least fish food now, but that was a long-headed one anyway. So while it's very sad, I'm not too torn up about it. Still, I really want this one damn bug. I got three minutes left to find it. Grasshopper, not helping. Out of the way, Ace. You're not helping me find bugs today. Therefore, I'm not helping you today. It's a rule. Bandit Dragonfly, missed it again. Seriously, that's gotta be like the sixth or seventh one we've run into today. You'd almost be surprised if I told you they're very rare bugs. More grasshoppers. It's the kangaroo who jumped off a cliff because of reasons. I think that's a grasshopper, but we'll catch it anyway. Yeah. Alas, I think that our chances of completing the collection today are very quickly going out the window. Which is unfortunate, but not entirely unexpected. All those bugs just flew away at the same point, that was weird. It was weird to see three dragonflies all fly away at the exact same point. Like in synchronicity. I think Cookie kind of looks good in red. That might be her color. Oop, that's a grasshopper sound. That's not what we're looking for. We only have like a minute left. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm thinking that they're probably just not spawning right now. Although that doesn't mean the other last bug we're looking for won't. Although I know for sure that's a rare spawn to begin with, so that doesn't exactly do us any favors. Wow, everyone is just wearing that shirt today. I guess checkerboard patterns are in right now. I'll never figure out fashion. Please be the bug I'm looking for. I don't think you are, but please be the bug I'm looking for. Nope, it's a long-headed locust. Ah, crap. I need it. I need this last insect. I'm running out of time. I have like literally a minute. At least according to my PC computer. I'm not sure how in sync the game's clock is. Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to finish our collection today. That sucks. Still, we can try and make a play for the other bug we're missing. Assuming it even shows up. Because fortunately, we can go back to our town. Check there. But man, this... This sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's not even officially the month where the thing's supposed to spawn, but it's already spawning stuff that's from that month, so theoretically everything else should be catchable, and yet I'm not running into the last two I need. There's a cabbage butterfly. No, 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 no. Oh. That might actually be what we need. Or it's a grasshopper. One of the two. Stupid wall. Is it? No, it's a grasshopper. Shit. Alright, well... Can't get a migratory locust today, so getting the gold net is out of the question. But we already have one of the three bugs we're missing today, and there's a good chance, and by good chance I mean 50-50, that our town currently has the other bug we're missing. So I guess we're gonna wander around there for a while, but first we have to swing by Nooks, grab some flowers to work on our garden. And there's no new treasure to find, so I guess we'll go do that. At least for a little bit. Alright, 
Nook, I've got a bunch of very low quality insects to sell you. And some very expensive butterflies. But not that dragonfly. I need to hold on to that one. Ooh, 5,000. I'm a little surprised I got that much out of it. We might get a bank deposit out of all of this today. Oh, those are tickets. Still need to see if there's anything here worth buying. Oh, there's a paperweight. What we got here? Oh, we got an actual fossil. That's good. And... Ooh, two fossils and a paperweight. That could have gone a lot worse for us. Right, let's sell these. It's like 10,000. If we don't spend too much in his shop today, that will be a bank deposit, bringing us a step closer to the piggy bank. Hey, a spaceman Sam. Uh, not really anything here. I think this is a seasonal shirt, but I'm not sure. Not really anything I need to buy from him, though. Alright, let's grab ourselves some flowers. Go work on our super garden. I'll take some Cosmos. And some more Cosmos. I shall take some pansies. And of course we have to take the last bag because we don't want it to be lonely missing all its friends. Which in this case will be red tulips. Alright. So our next quest will be trying to find the bell cricket, I guess. So let's go home. Oh, and we definitely have to go see Blithers to get rid of our dragonfly friend back to where he belongs. Which is flying around in an aimless room. Which seems like a bad idea for a bug exhibit, for the most part. You probably want them in, like, contained environments. That said, I have been to, like, butterfly rooms, which are just basically greenhouses filled with butterflies. Those are pretty neat. Local zoo has one of those. And it's probably my favorite part of the zoo. Although it's weird, because it's like one wing of this giant greenhouse that's supposed to be like an exhibit. And like, another chunk of the exhibit is just like an indoor cafe, and like the final chunk, which is most of it, is just like this area filled with cactuses. Which, I mean, I guess that's what you do with greenhouses up here in Canada. When it's cold, you put stuff that's for desert climate in greenhouses, but it feels a little lacking for an actual, like, giant wing of a museum slash zoo. I don't know. Oh good, it's Rover. The cat whose style infected half my town. Even though their version is nowhere near as snappy as his because his isn't an obtainable shirt. And I had to copy just to annoy him. Step one, plant a bunch of flowers. Step two, see if we can find the other last bug we need. And somewhere in all that, get this dragonfly to the museum. Sounds like a plan. Oh, also because we caught all the fish and have a gold rod, we now get a, a, a fish weather vane on our house. You get something if you get all the bugs as well. So look forward to that when we do that in a couple of days. But right now, we're unable to do that because the other town does not want to spawn a locust for us. Alright, now we gotta keep our ears peeled for the bell cricket. Oh, that's a ball. I was wondering, what is that in the flowers? Ah, oh, right, we did this side already. That means we go over here, to the other side where we started a new row. And we dig this up, because we're here. There's another fossil. 
And I don't think there's anyone in town presently, because yesterday Katrina was around. We're good or for ill. Mostly ill. Plants. Plant. This is gonna be a long acre to fill up, I fear. But we're gonna get there eventually. Any new villagers? Nope. But Pearl hasn't left yet. Oh, here's something. I'm not sure if that's the cricket we're looking for, but let's take a look. Fine cricket. Nope. Alright. That's okay. The one we're looking for is supposed to be the hardest one to find, so... I'm not surprised. Alright, Blizzards, I have an insect for you. We're getting real close to finishing up this wing of the museum. And then all we'll have left is paintings. That's all the dragonflies he needed. The dragonflies are awesome! How can you not be fond of them? Nope, that's everything I need to donate. At least at the moment. Hopefully before the night's out we'll find something else for you. Alright, so I guess at this point all we can do is just sort of aimlessly wander around and hope for the best. I think that crickets tend to spawn in like the patches of scrub. Ooh. We'll take beetles so they sell for a lot. As you well know. But you know, right now it's just a matter of wandering around and hoping I hear something vaguely cricket-ish. There's a drone beetle. That won't be what we're looking for. Not hearing anything around here. See, this is one of the problems with our giant garden though, is it makes catching bugs kind of a pain in the ass. But, you know, we're committed to this plan. I'm not gonna back down and I'm not gonna run through the flowers if I can help it. We'll just have to be real careful about where we go. I think that's a regular cricket. Mah. Why am I terrible at catching these little hobby things? Grasshoppers were like this too. Nope, regular cricket. Not the one we're looking for. We press on. Pretty sure that's a standard cricket as well. Hey, Pearl. What are you doing out here? How are you doing, Pearl? Eh, not really into ping pong. Eh, it's not really my thing. I think that's the pine cricket. That's the bell cricket. Which, if we open up our inventory, means that we're just missing one insect now. Unfortunately, we can't catch it right now because it wouldn't spawn in the other town and it stopped spawning around 5 p.m. So, I think we're out of luck there for the moment. But, we're close. And that's the important thing. Give this to good old Blithers. That's all the crickets we needed, certainly. Alright. Well, since we've kind of done everything we absolutely need to for the moment, I think we'll walk around and look for a few more beetles to sell. If we can find another bell cricket, we could put it in our house for a little bit more ambience. That might be cool. Especially for the Zen garden we're building. So I think that will be the plan. 
still, we're close, and that's really exciting. That's a cricket. I think at this point we just need to get one extra bell cricket, and that's if we want one of each. Likewise, we don't have all the cicadas, which unfortunately is just something we're gonna have to deal with, I think, because they're gonna stop spawning in about a day, I believe. But you know, I'm not even sure we're gonna keep them, but it'd be kind of cool just to have, to have some ambient like noise for our garden. But at this point, it's just gonna be a matter of walking around. Seeing if we can find something to catch. Oh, that's not fair, Mr. Cricket. Okay, I know you're a regular cricket, I'm not gonna bother. If it means hurting the flowers, I'm not gonna bother catching your cricket. But if we can find a few more beetles, that wouldn't hurt my feelings any. Because they're certainly worth the effort. But we're getting close, and that's pretty exciting. There's a drone beetle. They're not worth anything to us, though. Don't need to do much around here, but we could go north to the museum. Not hearing too much. Uh, drone beetle. That means there's nothing cool here. Tiny fish in the lake. If there's any news about stuff going on. Oh, Wendell. Both towns are synchronized. Same guest on the exact same day. Oh, well. take me to get my entire bug collection up to this point? Nine months. I started this January 1st. And then just played a little every single day. But yesterday and today were like the first days you could catch bugs from the fall season. So it's pretty much like the first opportunity we possibly could get for them. And while I couldn't get all the bugs yesterday, I did finish my fish collection. But there's really only, if you catch every fish as it comes up, the first day of September is the first day you can finish your fish collection and your bug collection, theoretically. But uh, there's only one fish to actually catch at that point, which is the salmon. Oopsie. Hey, come on. Get back here, you silly bug. That's a regular cricket. There's the train. We could find another bell cricket and just a metric crap ton of beetles. That does not hurt my feelings any. And if not, well, that's that's okay. We already got exactly as many bell crickets as we needed. Yeah, I'm trying to be pretty on the ball. The problem is, once I catch all the bugs and fish, I'm not sure what else to do. I like to give myself some kind of you know, objective to work towards to keep things interesting. But other than just amass money to get stuff from the bank for deposits uh, and work on this giant garden I've been working on since the start of the year, I'm not sure what else to do. I mean, I can work on my house, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. I could go back to trying to uh, beat uh, Punch-Out in Animal Crossing, I guess. Although I'm probably way too out of practice to actually make any value in terms of decent attempts. But that's something we'll deal with one day at a time. But that does lead to a problem I've mentioned a couple times, which is, you know, if you're on the ball and considering that some insects and fish are only available at certain times during the year, in the case of the jellyfish, only available for two weeks over the entire course of the year, you know, you've got a full set by September and you've got three months of just nothing new. And I 
don't know why they structured it like that. They could have spread it out a little bit more. I know there aren't going to be like any bugs in December or anything. That would be a little strange, but I mean the bagworms in this game. I think that's the bell cricket. Oh, I don't even know where I'm swinging. Uh, I'm sorry, all the flowers I just wrecked. I didn't wreck any of the flowers because I've been very respectful of them. Alright, we got a second pine cricket. And that is going to go in our zen garden. At least for a while. And now I guess we're just going to look for beetles for a little bit. But let's go drop these off at home so I can at least make a little bit of space. Problem is these crickets are so commonly spawning that it kind of outranks all these beetles. Which is unfortunate, because these are kind of like our main income. I shall swap it. For that cricket, because we don't need that specific cricket. That specific cricket was kind of a jerk anyway. There's another cricket. Not that we needed. Yeah, the newer ones definitely have a lot to do. I still say the original is probably my favorite, just because it has all the NES stuff in it, but... I'm gonna have to restructure this or something. Might be able to get rid of those two fountains in the back. Maybe those rocks in the back as well. I'm not sure we necessarily need them. Eh, we'll figure something out. And I definitely have to clean up the main floor. But, what the hell, we'll give another 15 minutes just looking for beetles. Yeah, there's one. New Leaf is one of the few, like, 3DS games I've actually bothered buying. I, I don't see the 3DS as being all that great a system. Like, the, the only game on the 3DS I ever felt like I need to fully recommend to people was Fantasy Life. That was a great game. But I mean, everything else on the 3DS that I really liked is kind of available everywhere else. At least that's, uh, in my region. Although there are two or three games I've been trying to get on the 3DS I can't find for the life of me. Such as uh, LBX and um, what's its uh, seventh dragon? But I think the most frustrating thing about the 3DS is just the fact that it's region locked, and it's the only Nintendo handheld that has ever been region locked. And it's frustrating because you know I I would really like to get the third Game Center CX game for it, but I can't. I would really like to get the Metarod games, because I'm such a big fan of the series, and half the series is on the 3DS, but I can't. You know, I, I have no idea why they decided to make the 3DS region locked. It's such a bizarre choice. But, I guess it just means I have to wait for the 3DS to drop in price significantly, and then get a Japanese one. But I found the DS got a lot more playtime out of it than the 3DS ever did. The only reason I even use my 3DS at this point is just to play old DS stuff, but my DS is kind of broken. Well, it's not broken, but the battery's basically dead on it. So it may as well be. Time to take advantage of our giant fishing rod. And we got a giant catfish. Not bad. It's not the super fish, but, you know, I'll take it. It's worth a couple bells. Still got a few more slots we can replace with beetles. Let's keep an eye out for them. It's pretty exciting, though. We are getting super close to finishing our bug collection. There's a flat stag. It's weird, these are like the most common of like the really expensive beetles, and yet it's not the least expensive. 
I find that kind of peculiar about them. Oh, there's a saw stag. There it goes. Oh well. We'll have more chances. Like right now. That was convenient. There's another saw stag. Swap that for that guy. Get four more we can replace. Come on, more beetles. Where are ya? I want to find the beetles. Sell them and get the piggy bank. But that'll probably be about as far as we can actually get in the bank rewards because they get kind of insanely expensive after that. And well, there's one or two ways you can kind of work around that. It, it's not worth doing because it's just sort of dumb. Well, if I want to buy Japanese 3DS games, and there are quite a few I actually do want to play, they won't play on a North American 3DS. Because the 3DS is the only handheld Nintendo has ever released that was locked to region, so only North American games can be played on a North American 3DS. Only European games can be played on a European 3DS, and only Japanese 3DS games can be played on a Japanese 3DS. Which sucks, because the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and DS could play any region, regardless of which version you bought. Now their consoles, those were region locked. But, with the exception of like the GameCube, they were pretty easy to get around the region lock because they did it through really stupid means. For example, the N64, you could make region free, and all it would take is 15 minutes, two screwdrivers, and a drill. Or like a knife, if, if you were really persistent at it. Because the only thing that's preventing the N64 from being a region free device is two little plastic columns inside the cartridge tray that if you drill out or chip away or just, you know, remove entirely, suddenly your N64 is region free. And that's actually a great thing to do because it takes little time, takes little effort, you don't have to be particularly handy to do it. And then suddenly, instead of spending like $40, $50 on any N64 game to play, you can pay 50 cents for pretty much everything. Except for Sin and Punishment and Lost Legion UX. Those are like the two import N64 games that are actually worth money, but importing for a lot of consoles is just dirt cheap. So making your consoles region free is really great for me because you know, I'm otherwise unemployed other than uh, my YouTube channel and its Patreon account. So if I can cut down costs as much as possible to keep that show running, you know, I would very much like to. And I mean, take a look at my last import spree that I got, which I've got to make a video on at some point in the near future, but, you know, I bought like 20 games for a penny each just from Japan and yeah I, I spent a little bit on shipping but I ended up saving so much money plus I got a bunch of stuff that was never released in North America that was really interesting whoopsie I wanted to hold on to that crap basically importing is fun especially if you don't have a lot of money and when Nintendo prevents that in a weird case where they usually allow it it, it makes me frustrated because that means I have to buy a second console or find a way to like make the console I have region free but the 3DS I don't think has anything like that I know the DS didn't sort of buying an external device that didn't allow you to play region free games but just allowed you to play ROMs of them But it was an effective tool, from what I hear. I, I knew a couple people in high school that had one of those devices. Although some of them apparently break after about a year's worth of use, because uh, they're just designed to be... needing to be replaced every once in a while. Because, I mean, once you have something like that, 
you know, it, you're just not going to replace it unless you absolutely need to. And planned obsolescence is just a thing people design into stuff nowadays, like cars, computers. Even Pantio says uh, planned obsolescence in mind nowadays, which is funny because you know if you watch like the very first videos of like pantyhose ever they you could actually pull a car with them without getting runs in them and now if you just wear them they get runs in them apparently i assume i mean i don't wear them i'm not a woman but no i'm not trying to make money making money is just a fun little bonus i'm actually trying to finish all my bug catching however i'm one bug short and i won't be able to get the last one until tomorrow at the earliest but I figured I had a few more minutes to kill since I got the last bug I needed that I could get right now, so I figured I'd just catch a couple beetles because why not? Slowly get myself closer to that piggy bank. I don't need to mail anything, Phyllis, but I do need to make a deposit. Because I want that piggy bank. So I can slowly deposit bells one at a time into the bank, because that's a thing. At least it was in Wild World, I want to say. I know I got one of the piggy banks in one of the games and it lets you do that. Oh, I guess we can get rid of our fishing rod too. Maybe I'll put that in our house as like a little trophy, like this was the thing that got us to the golden rod. I know I've got the golden axe somewhere in here, I think. I guess we'll drop the rod here until we figure out what we're doing with our house. Oh, I know that is the best way to make money, but uh, it, it feels like cheating. You know, I, I want to do things legit. That's why I don't time travel or anything. That's why I've been doing this, like an hour a day every day this year, you know? I want to do this right. I want to try and collect everything in the most natural way I possibly can. Uh, the only times I've ever kind of gone against that was when I missed like a town event and I just loaded up a character from a different memory card and dropped it off here, but even then that was like a one-time thing. And I did visit the event on time, it just wouldn't give me the thing, so... You know, I think it's more of a morality just trying to do the right thing and do it the most natural way I possibly can without cheating. But I mean, likewise, I could just use a bunch of passwords to get bags of like a hundred bells at Nooks if I really wanted to make a lot of money fast. But like I've been saying, you know, once I collect all the bugs and fish, I don't have a lot of other goals to do. I mean, I've got two more paintings I need to collect, but after that, what do I do? Just amass money? I mean, if that's the case, using passwords kind of defeats the purpose ahead of time. Gotta do it naturally, I think. And I think that's the last bug we needed, which works out well because we've been doing this for about an hour. Unfortunately, we did not get the last bug we needed today. But there's always tomorrow. And hopefully we'll finally get that last bug. Because... Damn it, we're so close and I'm impatient. Still, you know, that was nine months coming and we're almost at the end of that goal. That's pretty exciting. Plus, we got the gold fishing rod and a little fish weather vane. That does seem to actually move relative to wind because I remember the fish facing that way. So I don't know. Anyway, we've been at this for an hour. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus other stuff when I have the time. I'm trying to get back into weekly Pokemon stuff as well, hopefully. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over 1,301 videos at this point. And they're not just Animal Crossing, but pretty much any kind of crazy game you can think of, plus tons I'm sure you can't because Japanese importing is an interesting beast. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is slowly working our way towards getting that golden net. Just one more to go, let's just take a look at that, cause damn it, we need that migratory locust. 
and I got a good feeling about tomorrow. But you'll get yourself on the Discord, which allows us to talk about awesome things like getting the gold fishing rod and the awesome, awesome weather vane and completing our collections. And we're almost complete the museum too, which is a nice feeling. Not sure what we'll do next down there though, but uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace out, internet.